Ask me about the economy and politics. No. Come on! What about the economy and politics? Why, I'm glad you asked. Also totally different. The economy would expand as the job market for many industries shifted towards the booming market for hovering platforms. With the sheer amount of repulsionless systems that would have to be developed and produced, just imagine how many jobs that would create. And that's not even counting the platform installation positions. Now... Come on, Pikachu is so cheap. Since people would be able to obtain currency from these floating bricks, platforms, and flashing question blocks, we would become a political powerhouse, as most adversaries would be able to be overcome simply by having enough quarters. Hey, who says Reaganomics are dead? <laughs> hey, you think he's involved with gaming ended at those anti-drug screens? Not even close. Arcade cabinets were just the administration's testing grounds for their plans for overthrowing communism. They were the proof of concept. Better not let that get out. The Soviets could be listening. Well, I know they were. And don't you think for a second that the Russians weren't doing the exact same thing? We're just lucky we managed to get our hands on Tetris. Before it was too late. Just like Red October. They always trust our Russian with a Scottish accent, especially during war times. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Iraq would have been over before it started, because we would only need one guy to do the job. Rambo style. When there is no problem that cannot be solved by violence, a thousand to one odds against you is not a problem. Exactly! And the soldier would never run out of ammo. Except for grenades. Except for grenades. But he wouldn't have to attempt to filter the surgeons from the civilians. He just have to shoot at everything. If it blows up or dies, it was evil. If it moves, destroy it. Nice. While the enemy would have more aircraft, they would fly in elaborate patterns that would make it easier for them to be shot down. But what would the rest of the armed forces be doing while Rambo, in an ironic twist not lost upon me by the way, lays siege upon the Middle East? Defending the homeland. From what? Ninjas. Ninjas. Ninjas would be common and would frequently fight in public. Do you think local law enforcement is equipped to deal with so many ninjas? Not even close. So the armed forces would have to be called in. Especially once ninjas start kidnapping the president. But who could save the president from so many ninjas? I don't know. It'd have to be one bad enough dude. Or some guy in an attack copter. Well, the world would be a violent place, there would be a never-ending amount of people that would want to kill you. Well, the bright side is, if you kill one of them with a sniper rifle from 300 yards away, their friends won't turn around to look for you. Yeah, but if you continued that, you'd eventually amount a near impossible kill count record. And that would summon the presence of a more powerful individual who would subsequently beat the crap out of you. Damn, you're right. Well, I guess it's a yin and yang to everything, I suppose. At least the chicks would be hot and would wear revealing clothing. So, in summary, you're envisioning a world filled with hot women, constant helicopter on ninja duels, multiple Rambo style one man wars against entire nations, legalized vehicular manslaughter, religious beliefs based upon console supremacy. The elimination of any meaning to death shy of an inconvenience, and the establishment of some kind of insurance company sanctioned suicide booth network to kill their clients at will, Futurama style, all fueled by an economy based upon the production and installation of floating platforms, which doubles as a sort of ATM substitute when you bash your skull into them repeatedly. Well, you put it that way. 
it does sound really cool, doesn't it? Man, I'm telling you, it's a real crime that life isn't more like a video game. Well, in the end, at least a message life always gives you is. Well, what is that? Sorry, but the princess is in another castle. God, these toads suck. Thank you.